Want to learn engineering and science? Well, you've tuned in to the right channel. Hit subscribe and press the bell icon and never miss an update from us. Hi there guys, how are you doing? This is your friend and tutor Manas and I'm back again with a new lecture series based on plane trusses. Well, the methods that I'm going to be using, it may either be the method of joints or it may either be the method of section. Well, right now we're going to kick off this session with method of joints and I'll explain you exactly how with the help of this method, you can get the magnitude of axial forces acting in different members of this entire system. All right. So let's go ahead with the problem. Here we go. A truss is loaded and supported as shown in the figure. Find by the method of joints, the axial forces in each member of the truss. Now guys, this is tip number one. Whenever you're solving problems based on truss, try to find these reactions at supports. So you can clearly see that there is this hinged support at A and roller support at B. And at hinge support, you're going to have two forces. Okay. Uh, let us see the name of those two forces are H A and V A. When you speak of this roller support, it's going to offer a reaction. Okay. Perpendicular to this surface, normal to this surface. Let us say that this is what you call reaction R B. All right. So what initially we're going to be doing is we'll try to find the magnitude of HA, VA and RB. For that, what I'll be doing is I'm going to be using this equation of equilibrium. Summation of all the forces in X direction is equal to zero. So the first force in X direction is HA. Okay. HA. Is there any other force? No. So HA is equal to zero. All right. So we don't need this force HA. Okay. Secondly, we're going to go ahead and use this equation of equilibrium. Summation of all the forces in y direction is equal to zero. The first force is VA upwards, RB upwards, both of them positive. VA plus RB and this 1200 Newton force downside negative minus 1200 is equal to zero. So I'm going to be making this into some sort of equation. VA plus RB is equal to 1200. So let us see that this is equation number one. Okay. What else can we do? Well, we can use this moment equation. It's going to be pretty easy. Let me show you moment of all the forces about a certain point. So let me select a point. Whether the point is going to be a B or C depends on how many unknowns you have. Okay. Less number of unknowns, the better. Okay. Now if you, I select this point a to be the point about which the moment is to be taken, the benefit that I'm going to have is I'll be left with only RB as the unknown. Okay. So when you take the moment about point A, this HA and VA absolutely have no role or no impact on the moment equation because they are passing through this point A and hence their moments are going to be zero. The two forces that I'm left with is this RB and this 1200 Newton force. So watch carefully, keep your right hand thumb over here and try to move your baby finger along this direction. So this is the force line of action of force RB and this is the perpendicular distance RB multiplied by 0 0.4. So let me quickly write this RB multiplied by 0 0.4. <clears throat> so what else is there? 1200 Newton force for this. I need to do this little construction. This is the line of action of 1200 Newton force. So I'm taking moment about point A. This is producing a clockwise moment. Watch carefully. Okay. Keep your right hand thumb over here. Try to move your baby finger along this direction. 1200 minus 1200 since it is clockwise multiplied by this is the perpendicular distance from A to this point. Then let us say that this point is D simply D. Okay. So this is going to be AD, which is equal to 0 0.4 plus 0 0.5. That is 0 0.9. You just need to solve this equation. Okay. And all of this is equal to zero. You just need to solve this equation and the value of RB is going to be equal to 2700 Newtons. And guys, when you put the value of RB is equal to 2700 Newtons over here, you're going to get the value of VA. VA will be equal to negative of 1500 Newtons. So now, now we've got all the reactions. HA is equal to zero. VA is equal to how much? This is negative of 500. And this RB is 2700 Newtons. All right. Tip number one implemented successfully. The magnitude of reactions at supports A and B have been computed. What's next? All right. So let us try to determine all the forces acting on different members. So how many members are there? Three members are there in the form of AC, in the form of AB, in the form of BC. So let's have the axial forces along these members. Right now, I'm assuming all of them in tension. Okay. Something like this. 
okay if you consider joint a for example the nature of these forces is such that they are diverging this from point a or diverging from joint a you can say okay or they are directed outwards you can say if you consider point c they are directed outwards you can say if you consider point b they are directed outwards and the names of these forces are so this force is along ac so this is going to be fac similarly this is fab this is fbc what to do now so let us first take the case of joint a okay let me write here joint a so this point corresponds to point a all right so what can be done now guys if you watch carefully fac is acting along this direction so i'm going to make this force f ac okay fac what else is there so there is this reaction va in the upward direction okay this is va in the upward direction what is the magnitude of va negative of 1500 all right what else h is equal to zero so you don't need to put that force apart from that we have f of ab okay f of ab is somewhere along this direction this is f of ab okay so you have two unknowns fac and fab and you have two equations of equilibrium fx0 and fy0 easily computable no issues whatsoever but what to do now you have to resolve this f of ac into components and for doing that you need this angle over here how can this angle be calculated this is something that we are going to be working on right now now let us say that this angle over here is alpha and let us say that this angle over here is represented by beta we'll now go ahead and try to compute the values of alpha and beta now guys if you watch this triangle triangle a c d in this triangle if i write tan alpha tan alpha is going to be equal to cd over ad something of this sort and you can see cd is equal to 0.375 and ad is equal to 0.4 plus 0.5 that's it you just need to do this calculation and you are going to get the value of alpha is equal to 22.62 so this over here is nothing but 22.62 degrees so let me go ahead and wrap this okay 22.62 let me write this 22.62 okay degrees now we'll go ahead and calculate the value of beta now beta seems to be a part of this triangle triangle bcd okay so if i take tan of beta what will i get i'll get cd over bd cd is equal to 0.375 bd is equal to 0.5 just put in the values do this little calculation you're going to get the value of beta is equal to 36.87 degrees okay let me erase this and i shall write over here 36.87 all right we are going good fine let me get rid of all of this okay so now we know very well that the angle over here is 22.62 degrees so i can get the components of this force actual force f of ac here is going to be the cos component f ac cos 22.62 and over here the sine component f ac sine 22.62 okay now for joint a i'll be doing this summation of all the forces in y direction is equal to 0 so you have this force upward positive so it's going to be f ac sin 22.62 and this is also upwards okay it has to be taken positive okay but the magnitude computed was negative of 1500 so minus 1500 is equal to 0 you just need to do this calculation fac will ultimately be equal to 1500 divided by sin 22.62 and the value of this calculation will be equal to let me write this 3900 newtons okay now fac working out as positive and hence this force is nothing but tensile in nature now we'll go ahead and use this second equation of equilibrium for joint a f of x is equal to 0 okay so we have this force fac cos 22.62 right hand side positive fac cos 22.62 what else is there we have f of ab okay this is also directed towards the right hand side plus um f of ab is equal to 0 so f of ab is going to be equal to negative of f of ac um cos 
22.62 if you just do this calculation fac has already been worked out 3900 newtons you just need to put this value over here and you're going to get the value of fab equal to let me write this down negative of 3600 newtons okay so i'll write this again somewhere here fab is actually you can write this as 3600 newtons you just need to put a c over here which shows that the nature of this force the nature of this actual force instead is compressive in nature that's it okay so what else is there so we have worked out this force f of ac have we yes we have this was the fac and we have worked out f of ab the only force that is left is this one force along this member bc how can that be done so we have to take into consideration joint b okay so let's go ahead and try to make this free body for joint b joint b okay so this is point b so the immediately the force that you're going to see is this f of ab along this direction this is going to be f ab okay apart from this we have this f of bc f of bc at an angle of 36.87 okay let me draw a line f bc at an angle of 36.87 degrees okay what else is there so we have reaction rb in the upper direction obviously now this reaction rb calculated was how much let me see 2700 okay so i'm going to be writing over here 2700 2700 newtons okay guys so what i need to do now i need to get the value of f of bc that's the only actual member which is left okay whose magnitude is supposed to be calculated how can that be done let us resolve that into components so it's going to have a component over here this is what you call f of bc cos 36.87 one more component is going to have is over here okay this is f b c sine 36.87 okay so you can use any equation of equilibrium um let me see which equation of equilibrium shall i be using okay let us use this summation of f of y is equal to zero okay summation of f of y is equal to zero if you try to use this equation of equilibrium both these forces are in the upper direction and hence are to be taken as positive so 2700 plus f b c sine 36.87 you just need to do this calculation f of bc is equal to 2700 negative um now all of this shall be equal to 0 2700 divided by sine of 36.87 just need to do this calculation it's going to be very easy let me do this 2700 let me put this value into calculators divided by sine 36.87 and this is going to be equal to 4499.98 let me approximate this 4500 let me write okay so the value of f of bc is going to be equal to negative of 4500 newtons okay or you can also write f of bc is equal to simply 4500 and since it is negative that means that the force in this member bc is compressive in nature okay right so that's it guys this is member bc this is member um ab and this was along the member ac and i'm pretty much sure that you've got an idea a rough idea as to how method of joints can be applied to calculate the magnitude of axial forces in different members of a simple plane truss all right so that's it guys if you've got any queries questions to write them down in the comment section below i'll be very happy to answer them and if you believe that this video tutorial has added value to your knowledge of engineering mechanics then do share and recommend this channel to your friends and classmates so that all of them can benefit and guys in the upcoming days you'll see a lot of content based on plane trusses be it method of joints or method of sections until then it's a wrap this is manas patnaik signing off take care have a great day and keep learning